Hello, this video will show you how to get into Go Math. First, you need to go to the Sarasota County Schools webpage, sarasotacountyschools.net, then click on Students and Parents. From Students and Parents, click on My SCS. Once at My SCS, put in your child's N and PIN number. Now, I do not have access to a child's view, so I am borrowing from a student. Once you get into your student's My SES, down at the bottom, you will find a button that says Textbook. Since everybody's uh, screens will be a little bit different, what is consistent is going to Textbooks. Click on Textbooks, find the one for Fusion Math, Go Math. Now you have a choice of my library or things to do. If I assign your child something to do, there'll be something on things to do. In your, this case, go to my library. When you click on my library, it'll show you all of the available materials resources to your child. This is what's available for just math. You want to look through and find the one that says Interactive Student Edition. Click on Interactive Student Edition. The next thing you want to do is click on the chapter your child's currently working in. I'm going to pick Division Dividing by One Digit Numbers. Now I'm going to pretend that it's the very beginning and we are doing Lesson 4.1. Watch the program load. How can you use multiples to estimate quotients? Then click the Start button. Hi there! The owners of this gas station want to paint lines on the pavement along the fence to make parking spaces for customers. The new parking spaces will certainly be helpful. Check out this new parking area to find how much room the owners have for parking spaces. Now watch for the parts that are flashing. That's where you click. This does move very slowly. Wow! The owners have measured 129 feet of pavement along the fence. The cars and trucks will need plenty of room. The owners want each parking space to be nine feet wide. Hmm, I wonder how many parking spaces that could make. I think we can use a multiple of nine to find an estimate of the answer. Let's figure out how to do that. Wait till you see the flashing objects, then click on them. This one takes us to the next screen. You can use multiples of a divisor to estimate quotients. What you see is the same problem the children are going to see inside the math book. Click on the lock. <coughs> you can find the estimate by dividing 115 by 9. You know the inverse operation of division is multiplication, so you can use multiplication to estimate the quotient. A table can help you list the multiples of 9 to find a product that is 115 or greater. Multiply each counting number by 9 to find the multiple. Remember, click on what's flashing. How can you find the next missing multiple in the table? Click on what's flashing. 
Multiply 12 by 9 to get 108. 108 is still less than 115, so multiply 13 by 9. Click where it's flashing. 117 is greater than 115. Since 115 is between the multiples of 12 times 9 and 13 times 9, you know that 115 divided by 9 is between 12 and 13. 115 is closest to 117, so 115 divided by 9 is about 13. So there will be about 13 boxes. Notice the arrow flashing. Click on the flashing arrow. Multiples of 10 can help you estimate quotients. To help you solve this problem, think what number times 6 is about 283? Multiply the divisor by the first four counting numbers to find multiples of 6. 24 is not close to 283, so let's list the next six multiples of 6. 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Sixty is not close to 283 either. You need to find a product that is about 283. If you multiply by multiples of 10, the products will be greater. Multiply 6 by multiples of 10. 10 times 6 is... Click on the box. 60. 20 times 6 is... Click on the box, or you can put the number in. Oh, click on the box. 120. 30 times 6 is... Click on the box. 180. Now, 40 times 6. 240 is close to 283, but the multiple needs to be greater than 283. So, let's try 50 times 6. 300 is close to and greater than 283. 283 is between 240 and 300. So, the quotient is between 40 and 50. 50 times 6 is closest to 283. So, 283 divided by 6 is about 50. Click the arrow. How can you find an estimate of a quotient? Let's begin by listing the first 10 multiples of 4. Click where it's flashing. Is the tenth multiple of four a good estimate of the quotient? Now, in this case, they're waiting for you to actually drag these blocks into these spaces. Then click the check button. You're right. Forty is not a good estimate of the quotient because it is not close to 135. Since the dividend is not equal to one of the first 10 multiples of the divisor, multiply 4 by multiples of 10. Select the correct multiple. Now, I'm going to stop our demonstration here. This goes on and on. Um, I do want you to get to... Can I jump ahead? Now, yeah. let's practice with the personal math trainer. I do want the children to use the personal math trainer. Personal math trainer will bring them up a problem. 
and it'll ask them to solve it. You need to read the problem to them, and then I recommend you click step by step. When you click step by step, it'll take you step at a time to solve this problem. Math on the Spot will bring you to a video that'll help you solve the problem. Textbooks will bring you to the textbook page. Glossary will bring you to the word pro glossary. And the toolkit will bring you to math manipulatives should you need those to answer the problem. Print will print out the page. It'll print out exactly what you see here. When you have finished it, just keep going on through. It's not going to let me do anything. So I'm going to jump right through. There we go. And we get a little results report. And then we exit. And we press the next arrow. Now try your homework on your own with the personal math trainer. No, the whistle it is includes red. It's the exercise you saw at the beginning of the lesson. This activity matches what's hopefully on the workbook page is going home. You might have to look for it because I don't necessarily send home the evaluate page. And again, it's just like what you saw before. Lesson 4.1, practice. When you get all done, you click the submit button. Okay, it gives you a little scoring. You can print out the scoring if you want. And that's how you use personal, the Go Math series. That's it for this video. Thank you.